think it's going okay. It's coming up there, right? Yeah, there we go. Let's make sure that one's coming through too. Check that, check that. We got the audio. Correctly, though, but that's all right. I'll turn this up a bit. There we go. Ah, perfect timing. All right. Welcome once again to Random Razor Games, me, Random Razor. I'm your host, and you're the show. We're going to do some fun stuff today. This time, we're not doing so much of an interactive thing this time, because this one, I don't really have that much PvP, like our uh, that player versus, uh, you know, stuff that I can do interactive thing. But like with uh, Mech Arena, and I'm going to find a way to do it with XCOM 2. Oh, with XCOM, I'm getting really good at it now. Where I'm going to start making customizable characters that the people that come into my chat can actually be a part of the game with me. And so uh, I've got two people in there now, both... Um, well, Kat and Ari have a, a specialized uh, fighter in my XCOM game, so now that they're, uh, whenever I'm in there, I've got to keep them alive, basically, so that's going to be really cool. This one, I kind of do that, I can't do that quite as much. I guess I could embody a, sim a, a single champion to a, a single person, but anyway, right now, I'm just getting back into this one. The, the campaign's already over, but I had a lot of cool stuff going on in this one. I'm kind of getting the, the idea of how to grind out the characters and make things uh, level up a little better now, so it seems to be coming together. I'm up to 30 now. You can see it. in the time, in, in, the, uh, in the meantime, I got up another five levels just because of you know streaming other things and taking a break on my own just relaxing and playing this game basically and uh oops, sorry i'm a little fuzzy today but uh let's see uh, speaking of which get down to the bottom here and uh thank you bro for coming in to watch if you're there uh, i've got the thing here it should be set up now bam over there on the right hand side you should be able to see it i'm also doing an experiment today with my um my master technician here. Oh, um, speaking of which, I spelled technician wrong, not him. So I, I need to fix that. <laughs> Oops. How do you spell technician? <laughs> uh, you're first. <laughs> cool. So I don't know if you'll actually do that now. Let's see. Uh, where are you? Yeah. That's that one. Oh, not that part though. Not the border. There. There it is. How do you spell technician? I'll fix it right now. Let's see. There we are. Oh, come over here. There we are. Technician. <laughs> Perfect. You can barely even tell, but yep, now it's spelled right. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And let's lock that in place too. And so now if I need to, I can blink that away and bring it back or whatever you want to do. If it's, uh, if it's the right size or I can also, if you need me to, make it bigger or smaller just so you can see the information. Like if you want me to actually have it big like that and then just pop it in and out or just keep it small so you can look at it all the time. It's up to you. Whatever you prefer. But either way, let's shut this down, get this going. Make sure the music's actually here. Can you hear the sound at all? I don't want it to be too loud, but I want it to actually be somewhat, somewhat hearable, you know? Alright. And we got this new event going on, too. The Path of the Clover. The, as you uh, gain up little things here, you get to progress through the advancement path. I'm trying to save it to go further down in this one, because it, it, it's, yeah, it's going on for another three days here. So I'm going to try to get down to some of these, maybe get, into, maybe get this other blue one here. And then if I can't, I'll go back and get some of these guys on the top because I'm saving them up so, so far. And what am I saving up for doing? Because notice, what does it get? Upgrading champions and artifacts? That's what I've been doing. I've been grinding out in the uh, the dragon level and the uh, 
other one to process through all my champions. Remember I had like, um, what, 60 or so? Uh, no, no, it wasn't that much, but it was a lot. It was a lot of these shards here. So I started processing them through, grinding people out, taking them to the tavern, leveling them up, going through. So now I've got more threes and more, yeah, see I got one, two, three, four, a couple gray threes up here that I'm gonna be using to upgrade some special guys. And I finally got a neat team that I really like too. There's uh, this thing, I think I stuck them over here. Yeah, these two guys here. This is an interesting combo team. When you have these two together, it actually gives you an extra uh, special bonus for them. So I'm going to let them just sit here in my uh, in my guardian table here and let them level up for a while because I want to be able to use them together. It took me a while to grind this guy out. I didn't actually find him in the thing, but finally got a couple of them. So we're getting him up in level two. So that'll give me some interesting, powerful stuff that I'll be able to do some tactical advances now instead of just depending on what's happening, basically. 1080p, make it a little bigger. Okay, I can do that. You got it. You got it. You don't really need to see all that stuff over there on the side anyway. <laughs> and this actually does need to be a little bit smaller too. There we go. I should take this entire section on the side here. Where, yeah, all this thing and make it just a little bit smaller, probably, to squeeze it all down to the side. But it's, it's gonna make me, uh, it's gonna screw me up if I did. <laughs> Too big? Okay. Halfway, like there. <laughs> I could even, let's see. <clears throat> it's not showing the FPS, though. It's doing the CPU utilization, the GPU, and the clock, but it's not showing the frames per second, though. Why? Why are you not showing the frames per second? Because if it's not even showing that information, what I could do is this. I could tuck the whole thing off the top of the screen like that, make it even smaller. But maybe the, the frames per second will start showing up, though. I don't know. You like that? That's a good size? Okay. Can we do this? Since that, or go down this way. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why it's not doing it. I don't know why it's not showing the FPS. Weird. Let's see if I can make it come up. Mm. Yeah, it's like this. Yes. It won't just do the FPS by itself. I don't know why. More settings to fiddle with. When I go back to the other ones you, you uh, showed me, the, um, uh, geez, I can't remember the name of it. Afterburner. Once I start using Afterburner, that one will probably be able to show it much more easily. Oops, get rid of that. There we go. So once I start doing it with Afterburner, then, then it'll all probably come up much better. And uh, then I don't. I will be able to make it so that these NAs are not NAs, <laughs> so that these NAs over here are not NAs. So, I don't know what the deal is with that. I'm sorry. Tell the game to? Oh, well, I don't think I can. That's not a setting in this one. It's not, uh, it's not registering it from this one. Let's see, where would it be, if anywhere? Music, frame rate limit. It's limiting it at 60 FPS anyway. No say, senor. I don't know why. I'll fiddle with it. Like I said, I'm probably going to take a, uh, a an intermission break at, at some point today and, uh, er, and uh, fiddle around with the different settings and stuff like that. I think maybe it's because it's, uh, it's a mobile port game, so like to have the the, the the FPS stuff on the screen on a mobile game might be uh, detrimental to the game's popularity. <laughs> so let's see what's going on here, but I'll fiddle with it, I'll make it work for you, I promise. But let's get into some fun stuff here, finally. So now that I got all that stuff together, like I was saying, I got these guys ready to level up. I should have down here at the very bottom, 
And once I actually start doing some fights, it'll change the frame rate, because right now this isn't actually doing anything. Nothing's being rendered really right now. So I'll get into a battle and we'll see what actually happens to it. So yeah, I got four guys down here that I got ready to level up. And how many guys are already in the portal? And I got ten spaces left to go. So why not? Let's just go through and summon, summon ten and see what we get out of here. Good, we like a couple new greys. Cool, got a couple of those guys too. This is just all food for the grind now. All these guys are either going to be experience points to be added into the other ones, or I'll put them on as like a tra uh, trailers tag along guys to make it so that I can uh, uh, use them to level up the higher level ones basically. I'm trying to get three or four more of the level three gray guys because they're the easiest ones to level up. That way I can use them to level up my higher level guys to make them a little more powerful. I'm almost there to the point where I can do three or four uh, champions at the level four rank. Nice, nice. Couple of greens, couple of grays. One more, one more, two more. Well, that'll work too. I never actually used this guy in any of the battles, but he's need to actually, you know, like I said, just a quick level up person. I get a lot of them. That guy too, I got a lot of this guy. As I've learned now, that basically anything of the lowest level, unless you're actually trying to make like a higher level of a, of a particular build, like you want to make a troglodyte, then there's really no point in keeping them. They're all just basically grist for the mill. They're all uh, just, you know, ready to be used. So now I've got all these guys down here at the bottom, all these level ones, ready to be leveled up. So what I'll do is go to first, well actually let me show you what I've been doing. After I, I went through and processed all the stuff, I now have used, uh, you can see I got nothing leveled up over here on the side. These are all mostly low, but I've got a different uh, combinations of stuff now, which I think is working out a lot better. Like different kinds of powers, different uh, artifact things that I didn't use before that still kind of follow in with the normal way that they're being used, but it's definitely not the, the recommended set, you know what I mean? But I'm liking how it's working out. All the different times, uh, all the different like the small combinations I've been able to use. Some of them I still just have the regular standard stuff on, but some of them I'm trying to specialize, and it's coming up. It seems to be working pretty good. I'm liking how it's working out. Some of the stuff is working out really well, so it's um it's good stuff. I'm really I'm enjoying this a lot. I'm I'm really every time I play this game I'm surprised at uh at how interesting it is really. And this guy, and this this girl here is pretty cool. She's in the, the purple range, that means she has no uh, strengths but no disadvantages either, and she's got some pretty cool skills. So I've been trying to level her up and use her for some stuff as well. So let's see, do I have anything to claim for quests? Oh, I forgot to look over here. But is at least some of the other information, uh, you know, mostly useful? But I guess, you, once again, I haven't done a serious test yet, because that was not a lot graphically intense. So let's get into a battle and do some stuff. So we're going to start grinding some of those ten guys through, probably by going up here, because I still want to improve that guy's uh, uh, like stats. So this is the place you can grind him out of. This guy's going to be useful too, but using a lot of him just to level up other people, because I'm going to get a lot of him by grinding through here. So what I do is go to the first one at the very top here, Use these guys as the, the two, um, oh good, I got him already at the three as well. And uh, use these guys as the carriers and go down here to the bottom. Oh, and I got multi battles available, so that'd be a great idea. Let's do a multi battle. We'll edit the queue and we'll put in a couple of them. Yeah, two of these guys, two of these guys. Actually, just to keep it so that I know what I'm looking at, I'll do one of each thing. One of those guys, 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 one of those guys. There was always a different one. Not that one. One of this one, one of this one, one of this one. Okay, so that's all of the, the 10 spot ones. So now those are going to be automatically rotated in as I go. And I just have to put, I don't want to do 30 of them now. Let's do like 8. We'll start the multi battle. So now <clears throat> it's going to start out putting in the first two guys. Ooh, and actually this is a great game to do this with because I can actually do other stuff in the meantime. So I'm going to keep trying to mess with the overlay thing here and see whether or not I can get it to both show the FPS for you and see whether or not I can get the other afterburner one working as well. So, but in the meantime, this is grinding through, you can see. <laughs> These guys are doing their thing. And of course, when I start talking, the cats start uh, uh, talking back over here. Come over here. Come here. Come here. You crazy cat. What do you want to whine at me for, huh? So, 
and while I'm uh, letting these guys grind through and I'm making their way through, see the other two guys died already. They're not even, uh, you know, considered in the, the full power of the team here. But the two bigger ones here are continuing on, and they're going to get the EXP points. And it should only take like two or three for them to get to ten, and then it'll switch to the next guy, and then it'll switch to the next guy, and it'll switch to the next guy, which is brilliant. I like how that works in this thing. I like that you can just do like auto auto stuff. Hey, thank you, Pono. Oh, thank you for coming in and saying hi. Uh, say hi. I really appreciate the follow. And, uh... And, uh, I, I didn't even notice what you said here. Uh, the Relative Tender, you can be one of the, uh, I have a good champion. And only the revive rates for the game, really. Because that's exactly what I liked about it. It was the interesting revive tactics that I could probably use for. The only one that I have that has revive, I think, right now, is, uh, the other orc champion that I have. You know, the other girl orc. But, um, yeah, so I totally agree, and thanks for coming in and say hi, and thank you for the follow. The Shaman, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. You must know what you're talking about. You've been playing this game for a while? I had a, I had a lot of good guys uh, come in my, well, not the last stream, but maybe two or three games ago. His name is Necrocon, and uh, he was giving me some really good advice. Like, he was telling me about, like different things I should be looking for, different, uh, different champions I should try to combine together. I'm liking that. I finally just got this little mix, like the, the two hounds, like this guy. I've got the, the set so I can use that ice freezing uh, skill they got. I'm thinking that's going to be pretty cool. Two years now? Good luck. See, this game I knew would catch me. When I first started playing it, I wasn't really sure. I was like, yeah, it's not quite what I'm used to. I like the, 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 the battle stuff. I really like collecting things. I mean, like, that, that more didn't mean anything else. The idea that I could have all these different characters and stuff like that. And, like, I collect cars and cars and things like that. And, um,. That, but the, the ability to do this kind of grinding mission where I can set up the different characters exactly what I want them to do and then just let them fight, let them play and do what they want. I really like that. I like to be able to do that. And speed it up too when I need to. That way I don't have to watch them do, watch them do their whole thing this whole time. <laughs> and it's very intricate too, the different types of uh, things you can do. I mean, like I've only just scratched the surface, I'm even more finding. like adding in the rings and the banners and uh, the, the different runes you can use and the different uh, items you can craft. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm, I'm having a lot more fun with this game every day. <laughs> now, it tickles my gaming sense in many ways. It gives me things to collect, it gives me stuff to find, I get quests to do. Pretty cool stuff. And some of the lore is actually pretty cool too. Apparently they'll be adding some more lore stuff, adding some different stories and stuff like that as well. I think that's a little bit too loud though, isn't it? Turn that down just a bit. There we go. Yeah, the tutorial is basically, uh, the, the beginning part of it is, here's how you find all the stuff. Go ahead! <laughs> yes, exactly. Grand strategy is a very good way to put that. It's a, you have to be able to encompass every part of it. It's not just your debuffs and their debuffs and their, their weaknesses and their stats. It's all the different timings. It's which, whether or not you can hit this person with a, a down first to make you go up. I mean, you obviously know what I'm talking about. I can't even explain it all. So it's, uh, it's really cool. I'm really enjoying how, it's, how intricate it is because it just makes it so customizable. Like, I want to do this team, the, what is it, the, the Hellhound guys here? I want to have that the, the, blue and right, the blue and the red hound guys on, on my team doing that. <laughs> Alright, so we're up to level 8 there. I do wish you could zoom in a little bit more though. Like, you could actually go in towards the character when they're doing their fighting and the battling. Just so when I actually do do it on my own, it's just a little bit more interpersonal, you know? Oh yeah, I can't turn it off right now. Yeah, these two guys. I finally got one of each of these guys, or a couple of each of, these, each of those guys, actually, and I started leveling them up. So that's going to be a cool freeze team, I think. Any particular, like, favorite of all champion you like? Something that's not necessarily, like, the meta or, like, the, the best thing ever, because I think, like, Ronda Rousey here is pretty OP. She's obviously carrying me through this first part of the game here because I was here when I got the bonus for it. And uh, yeah, she's she's killing it. She's killing it. <laughs> but is there any like particular combination of like special things that you'd like to use? I see some particular ones again and again, but it's never the same. Like I never see the exact same thing in the arena every time. Except for that one team with the, uh, what is it? 
the uh, the poison guy and the guy with the crown. I can't remember what his name is. He's another legendary one. I see that team a lot. Just the two teams dominating in the four teams. It's like, oh man, that sucks. <laughs> How's the FPS look? I mean, uh, I mean, not the FPS, but the other stuff. Does it seem pretty consistent? I'm not, I'm not paying too much attention because I actually don't have the little overlay that you're seeing over here on my screen, on my side. So I'm not looking at it as much as you are right now. I was wondering if it seems, you know, what you expected, basically. I'm asking my, my master technician. He's, a, he's helping me out with my, uh, my frame rates and my, uh, my upload speeds and everything like that. I really don't know too much about that. I, I have, you know wild theories based on uh, wrong wrong information basically so uh, he's helped me out and, and straightened me out here hey cat nice to see you too yeah that makes sense I do have it on the highest resolution too, just because I wanted to kind of show off how good this game actually looks. I was really surprised about that as well. I mean, because it was originally ported from mobile, but uh, they put a lot of detail into this mobile game. If, they, if this was all in there originally from the other one for, from two years ago, was it always like this? Was it always this good, really? Uh, I'm impressed being able to play this on PC and it looks this good. <laughs> I mean, because if you really do, let's see if I can get it over here. Mostly you're seeing obviously the same effects again and again here, but there's some really cool stuff going on. And the details they put into the background, like the lava fall as it undulates through, as it down, you know. Little shading details, little corners and stuff like that. It makes it look really real. They put a lot of effort into it. And not like overly realistic because the characters themselves are somewhat still, you know, fantastical and cartoony almost. Except for the ones that are mo-capped. I'm going to have to show you right now. I, I'm trying to get somebody's opinion on this. I'm, uh, Kat was here, I think, when I asked somebody else about it. But the, um, there's one character here, like the elf guys. I am positive, 100% positive, that this guy, see, I got, what, how many max level? Just two of them? Oh, not too bad. I got these guys up to four, so I have to keep going. That was only eight battles, though, so I need to grind it a little bit more. But check this out real quick. Tell me if I'm crazy. Oh, not champions, though. Er, look at Cat, I can't see. There it is. I think it's the high elves. Yeah, this. Or I got to show you a different one first. So, this is a computer-generated face. Like somebody programmed that. They made the, the different shading things and they put it put it together. They like maybe it was based off a of real face at some point, like the actual framework. But that is a fake face. Like it doesn't look like a real person's face. Whereas this, tell me that's not a real face. That is actually like an image overlay of an actual person's face. Like, there's somehow a little bit more detail than usual. Because that looks like a real face. That that says real face to me. <laughs> oh, really? That was the Alexander? That was, um... This guy actually is a real one, too? This one? No kidding. So maybe that's why he looks so real as well. So it's from another game, huh? And there's another one, like the, uh, the... Uh, an undead samurai, I think. This guy. This guy also looks like that's a real face, right? That's a real person, like they're based off another YouTuber guy or something like that. That looks like a real person. That's not like a, a you know, a, a computer generated face or a computer programmed face. That looks like it was mocap or something. Maybe I'm wrong. I think there's like four or five champions or something like that that are actually based off of real people, but I'm not sure. I was just curious if you guys knew. Pick up some loot. Ooh, cool. I didn't even know I had her. Grab this stuff. This is just the daily things I forgot to pick up from earlier. I gotta do that. Let's go actually go do some arena stuff before I start grinding some more. See what I can throw out there with these guys. Level four. Yeah, this girl. I like her. She does good jobs too. But these guys are so far have been always in my carriers. Sometimes I like to switch out and use these instead. This guy's got a good double, uh, you know, AOE attack and then AOE attack again. 
And this is fun too. I've actually won some lower down levels using these guys when they're low, because they will actually do a good team up about back and forth. Because if this guy can use his execute skill and keep their, you know, either their healer or their main like battle guy and down, that, that I can win some battles, like some higher up battles that I normally can't using that guy. And that's fun. So yeah, I'm gonna do that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can get these guys. Sometimes I just let it go on auto too. Even for the uh, for the, uh, the the arena, it's less of a good idea to let it go on auto because you can specifically get the right person at the right time, especially when stuff like that happens. But uh, usually I just let it go and I just uh, go with luck. Ooh, but they didn't get good luck this time. Let's actually get some lower levels here. Let's see if I can get one that's actually a little easier to just fly out and fly into. Like this one. I'm pretty sure I'd be able to beat her, right? Cool character, though. The Frozen Banshee. See, that's a lot of detail. The little ice things on the back of her collar. The little frost around her elbows. <laughs> Go get her. I'm pretty sure that's the only reason why people do this with a single one. They're just showing off the cool characters they got, basically. <laughs> Which gives me points. And let's see, what's a real one that we can do? Like this one. This guy worries me sometimes. Sometimes, even when this guy is low, even when there's a lot of low guys with this one, they still kill me. He's got a lot of really cool powers. Oh, sorry. I don't know why I did that. I was looking away and I didn't see it. No worries. I, I can still see it on mine, even though I deleted it. It's the stupid settings. Technically, you must have crossed a limit of 1,000 characters per 30 seconds or something like that. Sorry, dude. I can still read it over here, though. Okay, I gotcha. So the Rhonda, Ninja, and Alexander. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, um, because the revive is not as effective on her, it's not as it's not as useful. That's interesting. I'm really I'm going through reading what you said. I, I was looking at the game over here, not in my chat. I'm sorry. I have to split it up on the two different screens right now. Let's see. Interesting. Hmm. That's what it is. Unfrozen Banshee's a kick-ass girl, huh? She does a lot of good stuff. Oh, don't worry about that. I think maybe there is something that, like, your um, the more uh, times you say curse words in somebody's uh, stream, it actually gives them negative points or something like that. But um, I, I don't know if that's actually true, or I don't know if that negative pointage will actually affect my current streaming viewage. But um, I'm not sure. So thanks for not you know cursing a lot because it might actually be detrimental to me. But I'm, I'm, you know you didn't offend me. Don't worry. It's just it's the automatic settings on the thing here. It didn't like that you typed so much. That's all. It thought that you were spamming a bunch of things because it was like a that you explained the thing. You were trying to answer my question basically, which I appreciate. But no, I just have to change the settings for that. Okay. Some of the ones that, like the Frozen Banshee that you can only get those from the random chance things like opening the shards obviously, right? Like there's no like um, special way to grind people out and like get the, the other ones. The only ones you can actually get are, let's see, from the portal you can fuse these guys, right? To make these special ones and then you can do the, obviously the portal summons themselves and then in the battle for these, these guys have individual rewards sometimes, right? There's no other way other than, that, than those three places, basically, to try to get a specific character. Otherwise, it's just uh, like in-game events and things, right? So there's no way I could like try to seek out the Banshee, basically. Like, unless, the, unless she is one of the random spawns in this thing. I'd have to just wait until she pops up as a blue one, basically. That's what I was just curious about. Or is there ever an option, or there, if there's ever a way in-game to get every character basically or if it always is a random chance. 
go back to this one and do some more level grinding for these guys. Yoink. Because if I get a couple more of these guys, or one of these girls, or another one of these guys, I'm happy with that. And I like ring loot and uh, gems, so I don't mind sitting on the bottom of this one, where these two guys can carry everybody through. Do a couple multi-battles, edit the queue, go down to the bottom here. Ooh, I had a couple at four, didn't I? Where are they? Where did they go? Where did they go? Where did they go? I hate that they move them around sometimes in a place I can't find them. Because they're 14 3, I'm not going to do that one yet. That's 3 3 3 2 3 3 3 2. Oh, it's because they're still in there, right? I always forget to do that. Take them out and then do the edit the queue. <clears throat> I probably would still switch them out automatically anyway, but it's just easier to find and know how many of them I got in there, usually. Yeah, so there we got four and four. I want to do those guys first. And then I'll switch to, yeah, her, 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 one of these guys, 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 and one of these guys. Let them roll. And then do eight of them again, just to see how far it gets. Get rolling. Okay, both Mystery Shards and Ancient Shards can give you the rare champions, however, not Void Champions. You have to avoid shards for that. Okay, you have to have the, the the purple ones for that. You have to. Okay. And Shadow Bow is a good, very good defensive champion. Okay. Mm. I see. I'm just still learning all the different names and what they do and, and how the placements are. Okay. So especially for the early game. The veil, right? I see. I see that happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. I see the veil thing happening a lot. That's right. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Let me speed this up a little bit too. Bink. Get in there and get them, Rousies. The ghillie suit, yeah, yeah. I had him actually uh, leveling up in my um, my guardian thing for a while, because I was like, this guy's pretty cool, I'm gonna keep this guy. I'm just gonna stick him on the side here to start him leveling up. I didn't, there's so many characters that I haven't been able to like in-depthly even look at all the things they do yet. So uh, I know the guy you're talking about, the one, though, the one with the leaf suit, I, was, I thought that was a pretty cool character. He's like one of the newest branches or the newest factions that was added, right? I'm such a noob at this game, but I'm moving along. <laughs> He's an HP champion, so attack does nothing for him. Okay, I gotcha. That's something I gotta make sure I'm doing correctly, too. Giving people the actual bonus for their particular defensive one. Because there's a couple of them that I think, like the, uh, the Crusader, some of his attacks actually are based on defense, not on uh, attack power, right? So I gotta balance that stuff out correctly. Dun, 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 dun. Six, seven. So yeah, I'll probably have to do this, yeah, three more times, and those guys will be at ten. And then I'll have four level tens, and then I'll be able to use the other ones to level them up to level two. And then I'll be able to take some of those level twos and do the exact same thing again. I'm, but you know, just keep stepping them up, stepping them up. <laughs> it sucks that I don't have any more of the EXP things. That makes it a lot easier. If I could just use like one EXP jug on each of the low level guys, it automatically puts them up to level 9. And then I don't have to do this for so long, because I only have to do like one or two battles for each one, and they go 10, 10, 10, 10. So, but I already used up all those for the other, you know, 30 shards I went through when I was doing the last thing. So uh, now we're down to just regular grinding, and uh, no, um, no special, special stuff. <laughs> No, 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 I just, I started this count, what, like a week ago now or something like that? It's, um, I think I'm, I'm just finished, like, the first weekly challenge, basically. And, or the first, like, the collect, oh, no, 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 the collect the thing every day for a week. Like, I just did that for the first time of the day. I had a sponsored stream, and I was actually doing, um, the, uh, like a, uh, I had a little widget thing coming up, so people actually came in and played with me for a while. I had a couple people actually get to the, the 15 level mark while I was doing it, and one guy actually stayed through and ground all the way up to level 25 while I was streaming. He was really cool. He's a, he's a friend from another game named Delbuck. He's cool. But, uh, no, I just started, yeah, like a week ago. 
and mostly I've been wasting my money on stuff. I've been, you know, I spent uh, 300 gems to unlock the, uh, the, uh, the second slot in the Guardian thing. I've unlocked the, uh, the gem mine already too. I did the, um, like, I, I just basically, I spent a lot of cash on upgrading items and weapons that I shouldn't have. I just gave them to everybody and swapped stuff out everywhere. So I'm sure I've wasted, you know, millions of dollars that I shouldn't have. And uh, I probably could be further along for the time that I have been, but I'm not. That's okay, I've been having a lot of fun, and that's the whole point. I'm not so sweaty about doing these kind of games. Like, I don't have to have exactly perfect until later on. Right now, it's just fun time. Right now, I'm just collecting the different things, seeing what characters I like, what, and what different things I want to try to juggle together into my particular toolbox, and uh, get advice from people to see whether or not I'm headed in the right direction or not, or done the exact, apparently, worst possible thing possible. Like, apparently, Garrick is the worst one to get for the, uh, the starter champion. Of course, that was the one I got. <laughs> and let me show you some of my equipment, too. You're probably going to say, you've got those guys equipped all wrong. But uh, let me show you what I'm using, just to see the, the different healing aspects and the different stuff that I'm trying to get with these guys to make them do what I want them to do. Oh, cool, another one of those guys. I'm going to get a lot of these green guys here. I forget what his name is. He's a, a Incubus or a, something like that. But I'm using a lot of him for just random levels up with the higher characters because I've been getting a bunch of them doing this. Is he a good character? Should I be saving him, trying to level him up individually? Because with 600 characters, they can't all be useful. They can't all be good. Some of them have to be crappy. No. Yeah, the food champion. That's kind of my theory. It seemed like it. Yeah, and Gaelic is the worst. I knew it. <laughs> Somebody else told me that. Like, don't take Gaelic as the first one. I liked him. He reminds me of my uh, the character my dad used to play a lot in Diablo. So I picked him because of my dad. <laughs> Blam. How's the frame rates and stuff? Pretty consistent. Do you want me to leave it going? Let it keep uh, recording the stuff over there in the corner? Ooh, the new Diablo 4? I just found out about it today. I went and looked at the pre-order uh, for it. It's like, I think for the cheapest version, it was like 60 bucks, and it's so far out of my price range right now. But if I could get the Diablo, I would, I would do 24 hour streams of that right now, if, if I had it. I would love to do that. That's going to be, I uh, looked up on Google, there's a, the, the, the search metas and everything like that. People are into that. If I could do that right now, that would be awesome. So, hey, you want to donate to my stream? Donate $67 to me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And uh, so I can buy Diablo and, and do a stream of Diablo. I would love to do that. Loved it. I played Diablo 1 and Diablo 2 and Diablo 3 with my dad for years. I uh, was, you know, really into Diablo 3. He probably did Diablo 1 and Diablo 3 the most, but I know for a fact that he probably played through Diablo 2 200 times. Uh, beat the game, uh, you know, usually just the Barbarian, but he did it a lot. He really liked that game. But he was really into Diablo 3 at the very end. And um, the, uh, the new one coming out looks so awesome. I mean... Both the the characters, the new stuff is going on. I don't even want to talk about it because I, I looked at some of the new things and I was like, no, I can't look anymore. Let me go see how much it is. Let me go see if it's even possible for me to do this. But it's, it's a little out of my range right now. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think these guys can handle level two on their own. Even though she's 40 and she's 50, I think I have to stick with level one. And I got level five on them, 14 more available. All right, let's finish up with these two, and then let's actually start doing... I think I have a bunch of gray ones available here, too, that I can level up as well. For level twos. Yeah, a couple of them, anyway. Oh, I got one already at level 10 here. One already 10 here. Nice, nice. I mean, not 10, but uh, 20. I need to get the level 20 ones, so not those. I need to do her. Yeah. So once I've done that, once I've transferred these guys over, I'll start doing the 10s then. Okay, so I'm just going to finish up with these two girls. Do one more multi-battle set, another four. Wait, no, how much is it? Should there five right now? I need more than that. I need six of them, probably. All right, 
let those grind through, and then I'll have four level 10s maxed out that I can then make into two level 3s, <laughs> or one level 3, if you come out of my you know what I mean. The GPU CPU utilization, okay, let's see, I can squeeze this down, and squeeze this up, like that. That still work? Oh really? I didn't even see any of that kind of stuff. You're talking about revolutionizing the way of collecting items? Ooh. I wonder. See, I'm, I'm curious now. I'm, I'm more. I'm just as much interested in the story and the continuation of the different stuff that's going on as I am with the innovative gameplay and how they're going to do all the stuff I saw them doing. You know what I mean? How exactly the the characters themselves. I mean, how much of that was cutscene? How much of that was real life kind of thing? You know, because I only looked at a couple things. How much of that was actual people gameplay, and how much of it was you know what you could do? I'm really wondering. But yes, definitely excited about Diablo Four. I think my nephew is using my uh, my Battle.net account right now. I have to ask him if he's still got it active and see if I can get it from there. <laughs> get out of my face here. There we go. Seven, eight, yeah. So that should be fine. Two more battles. Maybe three, and those guys should be at tens. And then I can start switching them over again. Oh, Lost the music though. There we go. Rah! Jump back in there. A little too loud. Right, random neuro generation. Hmm. So you don't think they're gonna do it like before? Like random, uh, like actual like dungeon crawling loot and everything like that, where the same thing that like you find a box, you, you grab an item from a random person, and, and it's, like I said, a random number generated loot thing. It might be like a specialized or a, spe a specified weapon path for each thing. Like each character will only be able to get certain items. That'd be interesting. Hmm, I don't know if I'd like that though. You shall see. Now you make me want to go do some research and tell, look, look and see what's up with it. Because I literally, as soon as I saw it, I was just like, nope, I don't need to know anymore. I'll, I'm going to go see if it's possible for me to get it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, okay. But there's some kind of twist. Yeah, that's true. I mean... The, the loot collection. I mean, that is the that is the beginning of loot collection. I still hear the sound of rings dropping in my mind. You know what I mean? Like if I hear that special ching in like in like I don't know something hits a, a chain link fence near me, I'm like, there was a ring. I heard it. There was a ring on the ground. <laughs> okay, that's good. So that means there's no problems with that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> was it blue? Was it? Was it purple? What color was it? <laughs> yeah. Some will last over well. Hey, no, stop, quit, exit, let's get out of here. And current battle. Okay. Yeah, oh. You don't want that though. I thought it was a free thing they were showing me. <laughs> Speaking of free things, what do we have in the market? Give me those shards. I want all the shards. <laughs> and a wind talker. Ooh, what's he do? Attacks one enemy, defense, and crime. 
60% decreased defense. Okay. Or increased defense. Interesting. There's so many different, like, varieties of what percentage for each thing. Like, I can find five or six characters with an increased defense, but is it 60%? Is it 40%? Is it 30%? Is it only percent of their EHP? Is it for two turns? Is it three turns? Is it one turn? There's so many varieties of the stuff. It's hard to, it's hard to specialize sometimes. That's why I'm just kind of, you know, picking the characters that I like and seeing what they look like, or see what they, uh, what they advance to once I've advanced them a little bit. Speaking of which, tell me how wrong all this stuff is. So... I've got her with some uh, healing stuff and some destroy stuff because I figure she's the most uh, definitive attacker that I got. This guy, I've got this stalwart and the, the this thing. You know, I mean, you, you know the, the 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 different stats better than I do. The extra turn so they can hit again. It seems like it was kind of going along with what they were going, but I just wasn't sure if I was doing the right thing. Basically, like I thought that was a good idea for him. Smash through the defense. She had the speed stuff and the other speed health one. Oh yeah, the self shield, that one. And these guy, yeah, I wanted him to I wanted him to do the extra icy stuff, because now I got the other one, the other half of his team, this dude, put him up there too, so they both can work in tandem. There's probably some kind of thing I can do to make it so this guy and that guy work better in tandem with whatever weapons and items that I give them, but I haven't figured that out yet. But that's that's a team that I wanna bid I wanna build. I kinda wanna have the Crusader and the Armager, backed up by the uh, the, the Hellfang and the uh, the Demon Spawn, or the Hound Spawn, with like one of my main champions in the front. That's like that's like my 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 chosen like ideal team for the moment. That's what I want to have to <laughs> what would take out there in the world if I was here in this world. You know, that's kind of why I think about it. I don't, I don't like to role play. I play the role. I play it as if like I'm the guy actually in this universe doing these things. This is what I'd want to do. <laughs> No, I can't do that one with just Rhonda. That one might, um, not yet anyway. Um, maybe I don't have the, uh, the right combination of stuff, basically. But she's just almost powerful enough to solo it, so I can do four people leveled up at a time, but almost. Right, right. Well, that's kind of what I figured. Well, the, uh, for this guy, that it would be, one would be when he's hitting, and the other would be when he's getting hit. So that way it's always happening. That way when this guy... I was even thinking of using two of this guy, because he can do the the actual hit the people with the ice, yeah. If the if the target is frozen. So basically whoever's hitting gets frozen, whoever he hits gets frozen, and this guy, same thing, will ignore that. I just thought that was a cool, you know, combo bonus thing. I have no idea. It might be completely useless, like I said. I'm just having fun with the ideas. <laughs> Which is why I asked whether or not that's actually, you know, completely bogus and I shouldn't be focusing on that at all. Hellfang, yeah. Really? No kidding. I'm glad I picked a good one. Yes, I haven't. I just now switched over. I don't know if you can tell from my uh, in my inventory here. Where yeah, you got to look in this one. I had a lot of other stuff uh, leveled up to 14s and 13s and stuff like that. Some of what I sold, some of the things were at 12s. I had other things leveled, and then I switched everything out, and I haven't leveled up the new stuff that I switched out yet. These are just the different things I just put in there to experiment with the new uh, build, basically. So now, definitely need to start upgrading all our stuff. I should have enough cash to do it, too. Maybe I can start doing that. Go at least to level 8 for most of them. That way I can, you know, both dump some of my silver down the drain and make her a little stronger. I do have a Discord now, actually. I started using a... Uh, I started my own thing for it because um, a cat, uh, another person that comes in and says hi, he was here earlier, uh, comes in and um, does a lot of Discord stuff. So uh, I don't use it that much. I used to use it a lot more when I was doing Minecraft a lot, but uh, I do use it now again because I'm trying to reconnect with people. So if you want my Discord, I'll put it up there. No reason to do one star her level. What do you mean the uh, the actual level of the item? So don't even put like things with one star on her. Yeah, sure. You can put it up there. I'll I'll, I'll add it up. I mean, no shenanigans either way. Somebody was asking about the other day, like, are you supposed to put your Discord on the thing? Like, no, that's that's public information. That's how you share it with people. You, I mean, like, it is what my name is. It's Random Razor Game, and then whatever the number is. But I just don't remember what the number is right now. 
yeah. So it, it definitely needs to be higher. I know, I know. Like I said, I've been, I've been wasting a lot of my cash on useless stuff, <laughs> and I do appreciate the help, honestly. I would, uh, any kind of, you know, particular coaching for the right kinds of things, and also because I didn't really want to level things up until I knew I wanted to keep those things on her, basically, because it takes more money to take them off once they're leveled up, doesn't it? I think it does. Maybe it doesn't. But yeah, that was the idea. I wanted to at least level most of these things up because that would increase a lot of the power for everybody, right? And if nothing else, I'll probably be able to use this boot on some other character later on. And the, the amount of silver that you process through in this game, I'm not really ha sad about losing 10 or 20 grand to swap out a boot. So, I mean, even though I have to do it 10 times. <laughs> so, it, it's worth it to me to be able to experiment with this stuff. I like to play with the game, not just play the game. I like to have all the different little parts and different things in the game. They're all part of my toys. They're all part of my my, my set of things that I like to fiddle with. But that's a good point, though. Should I be doing all these guys, upgrading them? Oh, really? So that, I did actually do the right kind of set for her. Good. At least I'm, I'm kind of getting the idea then, I suppose. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, and there's a Discord. Thank you. Hey, bird dog. Cool name. <laughs> Copy it. Oh, let's do it this way. Do, do, do. Come on, computer. You can think about two things at once. I know it lost the sound over there. It's because if for some reason, it's not transferring the audio directly across right now. Again, overlay problems every day. It's something different. So, like it worked for three days yesterday, <clears throat> and today it decided it's not going to do it anymore. So. Who knows? How much cash I got left? Plenty? Yeah. Now I can upgrade some of his stuff too. Oh yeah, how's this one? I wasn't sure about this guy. This guy I go back and forth for. I'm just trying to keep him alive, basically. I want him to be a little bit more in there. I probably gave him the wrong masteries too. <coughs> but I just basically want him to survive a little bit more so that he can just stay in and keep doing the damage that I want him to do. But so far that hasn't been the, the easiest. <laughs> Discord, Discord, where are you, Discord? Let's see, I can upgrade some of his stuff too. Because even if I don't keep it on here, I'll need it upgraded for later. And you think it doesn't really matter if you upgrade stuff and sell it, huh? Because the amount of money that you're using to upgrade it way outdoes the percentage of the sell you get for it, so I don't think that matters. Okay, okay. So the original uh, still gear is some of the best gear on your account. I was going to ask if you wanted to change that to Ronda, where you don't need to do what's his name. Forget him. Don't even use Garrick at all. Okay. And then we can make Ronda a farmer and use a more powerful champion. We can do that. Sure. This one's actually not bad too. This guy. I like this one. This is the one you're talking about, the basilisk. This one was actually pretty. Uh, it's been another carrier for me. It's been getting me through a lot. The uh, it does attack all enemies, increase attack buff does a single super uh, attack buff and it also does stun. This is really, really nice to do. He does, you know, 10, 12,000 damage on some people sometimes with that one and, or, or stuns them completely. And uh, this one, the, the, the revive thing also is coming in a lot of handy too. I think it's the guy you were talking about, right? Right, right. The original lifesteal gear. Okay. If you tell me how, I'm, I'm going to add you to my Discord right now, so that way you don't have to. Uh, if you don't want to put it all in the same chat over here, or risk the uh, the Streamlabs thing uh, negating your words, not letting you uh, show it up on the thing, I'll, I'll, I'll do the Discord. He's good in faction war too, huh? Okay. And there's also that thing too: the specific teams, specific specific characters, plus specific uses. So just because I can't find a use for him now doesn't mean I shouldn't save him for later. That's another thing I'm, I'm kind of wondering about. <laughs> You're from Texas and your bird dog is sitting right next to you? <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> I, had to, I had to go up again and read further. The, uh, the, the, the chat thing on this side doesn't go as fast as it should. Okay. Everybody comes with speed boots and crit rate gloves unless they're a support champion. Okay. I'm going to copy all this down.
Okay, okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay. Oh, so more accuracy for him though, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Should I worry about maybe doing the uh, the masteries for accuracy? And uh, uh, can I even still do that? Or did I give him the wrong ones? Probably. But um. Understood, understood. That's why I'm trying to get the other Discord thing up in the meantime here. So let's do that. Let's, uh, what can I do? I still need to do these guys first. Let's upgrade a couple of these guys' rank. Do these ones. Get you out of there. Let's process through some of the low guys so I can get these out of the way. Clicking on. <laughs> you saw me, I was like, wait a minute, what am I doing? <laughs> Doink. This one. 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 And that's it, right? Okay. So now, I'm getting close now. I've got you know, this girl here, and I've got a couple of the chickens like, if I wanted to do the fours, because I just made her uh, basically to do that, because I had a bunch of her laying around. The only reason why I leveled her up was to make her into a, the, uh, a food for these guys, unless you think I should keep her. Oh, really? RLS helper? Oh, cool. It's like a, um, like a, like a mod thing, or a, like a, not an, an overlay, but a, you know, it, it does the clicking for you basically. I forget what it's called. Okay. Have to try that. But let me add you over here first, one thing at a time. So not that yet. Not doing any of that stuff. Don't need to level up any more of these guys just yet. I gave enough room there. Let's grab these guys out of here. And what is this girl? I don't think I've seen her yet. Oops, don't need that. Where is she? Oh yeah. Cool, the Diabolist. Nice, I like the sleep ones. Ooh, and increase her. Increase speed for us. Ooh, turn meter, nice. Oops, stop that. Good character model too. Got like the the long dready things, Bunzi, and uh, I like the whole idea of the uh, the armor actually growing out of their skin. The ones that are like that. The ones that are kind of like um, it's like Oblivion from uh, Elder Scrolls. That's what that kind of armor style reminds me of, like. I like the, the effect they did on those for this one. So let's level this dude up again. Let's see if I, how many of these I got. Thousand, almost there. Oh wait, no, I do have enough for this one, cool. Next level for that one, and then next will be 1500 for this one. I'm trying to get maybe to this blue one here. We'll see if I can get up that high. I might not be able to in the next three days, we'll see. Oh, okay. It's an overall account management system. Oh, and it does the auto clicker thing, so it keeps track of the different stuff you can do. So you can you can go even more hands off. That's neat. Early arena. So she's a low level arena guy. I I, I think what am I at the arena now? Let's see. Hmm. Not too bad. I mean, uh, four at least. I mean, I've got enough stuff. I've almost got enough to do another level up in the thing, too. Usually I just let it go automatically, like I was saying before. Or I just pick the lowest one like this and say, like, yeah, I, I, I bet I could beat them. Because <laughs> I know, for strategy-wise, I know if I did it all myself, I know it would do so much better. But then I also just like to let them do it. Smash them. 
Usually when it gets really close, I'm gonna have to do like people that are like 5,000 points above me, then, then I have to really pay attention. But usually when it's lower, I don't have to pay too much attention. So I just let them do it. 25, 24, 21, 15. I should be able to do that. Even though this guy's in there, what do you think? Will I be able to kill this guy? I'm gonna have to do it myself, let's see. You get to see how bad I am at this game. This guy. You see, like, this is my my education here. I it says I'm weaker to her, but I know this guy's gonna kill me here any second, so I'm pretty sure I need to clobber this guy first. Stun him, hopefully. And then use some other stuff to go over here with this girl to get the, all the weakness out. Then kill them and do that guy at the same time. But I don't know. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> but that was a victory at least. Now, let's see, what am I doing? I finished up with those, and I've got a bunch more twos, so now I've got to level up twos to go into, make those into threes. Okay. I should have sent some people too. Oh, I forgot to look. Deacon is not a tap champion? Okay. That was the guy that was fighting against, right? So what is the um, what is your best advice for your arena stuff then? Are you trying to make a specific set of just like your the highest DPS, or is it really a strategy thing? Are you trying to get the the best speed guys that give the most debuffs first and and that kind of thing? Is it mostly, or is that depending on the level you are in the arena? I guess because then it's what uh, what characters you have access to by how long you've been playing the game. That's really a complicated question, wasn't it? So you might not be able to answer that. So. Mm. Maybe just, of the characters I have, what do you think are the best arena characters? How about that? Of these guys here, which ones are the ones that I should be trying to do for a specific arena thing? Because like some of them I haven't used at all. Like this one, I barely used her. I barely used him. I use her sometimes. I like this one. But I, I mostly just, when I'm doing the grinding, is just using these two up here. Hey again, Kat. Hey again, Ari. I didn't realize you were here too. Nice to see you as well. Coming to join in with some a random Ronda running around in a raiding. <laughs> no grinding. Support defense down, okay. Let's just get these guys set up here. Oh yeah, one more thing I gotta do before I do anything else. So let's get this Discord. Okay, there it is. Oh, well, is there a way I can actually invite you to the the actual thing? See, I'm I'm so out of touch. I forget how to I forget how to work it. <laughs> Invite people, there we go. Copy that. Got it, finally. And then, here, you put it on that one and send it over. Can you even copy it in? Nope, of course not. Um, let's see, what's the only way I can do it then? Oh wait, I got it. Ha 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 ha. Useful little thing. Where is that thing showing up right there? There it is. So let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, a little transparency down there. Paste. There we go. So that way you can see it at least. Let's see, can you see it? <laughs> wait, wait, it's under what? Uh, ZPU utilization? Yoink. Yoink. Let's see if I can get it just right. Oh, it won't fit. <laughs> it's not quite enough. I was going to get it to show up underneath this thing. 
Oh wait, maybe I still can't. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I can still do it. I can still do it. <laughs> there you go. There's my Discord right there. Dink. <laughs> what a great place for it. <laughs> can you read it? Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> That's funny. I'm sorry. I'm just that's totally not the way you do this kind of thing. But uh there you go, there's my Discord. <laughs> it's just because I'm messing with the different overlays and it won't let me copy stuff over and do stuff right now. So uh if you wanted to actually type in my Discord right there, there it is. <laughs> Ooh, I can forge some more stuff too. I made a lot of these things. I did most of them in the five six because I had enough for it and I've used it all up. But I don't really have any sets I need to fill out just yet. But yeah. Um, oh, and uh, you see on the, the, the CPU utilization thing, down in the bottom right corner over here, I put the, the, the transparency overlay, I stuck the thing behind it, so you can actually see it right there. <laughs> because it won't let me copy it over. Like, I was going to try to put it into the text, but it wouldn't let me do it. I'm trying to do... Uh, this overlay for this thing, this overlay for that thing, and I'm also trying to get the, uh, the, the this other one that my brother just set up for me, the afterburner. So afterburner is going to be able to take care of all these problems, basically. Once I get afterburner set up, I'll be able to have the, all this stuff uh, correctly in the right position, and I won't be doing three different things at once to try to make it work. So I appreciate your patience with my newbiness in my uh, my stream here. <laughs> oh, I should go back and two-star these last couple ones, too, if I can. Probably almost have enough power to do that. So let's take these. Oh, actually, you know, we're going to use those two, but let's do the uh, the whole Q thing. Go back down to the bottom. So now I got all these gray twos. I can try to get up to level 20. Oh, but that's probably going to take a while, isn't it? Oh, we can do it. Let him go. I mean, I'm not going to do all seven of them now. I'm just being optimistic, putting them all in there. <laughs> do it, Max. Take them all. So yeah, for level 10 took three or four, then yeah, this is going to take a lot more. <laughs> and if you can't get it to work from right there, because obviously you have to type it in yourself, that was just that was just kind of a joke. Um, I'll make it so you can actually see it here in the chat itself. I'll find a way. Let's see what would be the best way to do that. i will do it this way. Because then I could access it directly and, sit and switch it over. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Actually, that's not too bad. Got three levels with that first one? Okay. So that means it'll be like three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'll probably have to do like maybe like 15 battles? No, maybe less than that. Maybe like 10. Same thing, cool. Nope, nope, stop that. Link copied. Then go here. I'm trying to make it so I can actually send a link to you. I might even be able to set up a command in my OBS settings here to make it so that I can give you a little command link for it. Let's see if it at least let me do this. Yep, there we go. Finally. Yes, the clan war did. No, because a cat was trying to get into the same clan as me, and because I was doing the clan war, the the, the yeah the clan versus clan one, um, we couldn't get into the same one. It is over. That, that's the same thing you were saying. Clan versus clan. CBC, clan versus clan. Clan war. Same thing.
Nice. Bird dogs joined in. Thank you, bird dog, by the way. Cool. Though, right, the, for the clan that you're in is a XCS, a XCSC. You got it, man. We'll, we'll join in the same clan. Now that I'm out of this other one, I think I've already got the uh, the reward I got from that one. I'll have to check and see. And then we can all join in the same clan together. How did you get into this clan? You said you took it over? So it's just you in the clan, basically, and then maybe we'll get a guild deck to do it? That would be cool. Or maybe even Arya will join in. She played up to level 15. Which, by the way, thank you very much for still watching, Arya. So wait, but does that mean but I mean you couldn't actually change the thing? So are you in control of it? <laughs> I'll have to ask uh, Pono whether or not that's a... Uh... Oh. Yes, I definitely should. Ooh, superpowers, huh? I had to go back up again. I was, I was looking away for too long. I'll go back and try that one. I don't think I've done a promo code yet today, or maybe I have. I'll have to see. And we're up to 11 now. That's not too slow. Well, like 7 of 8, which that means it's not too bad. I can at least get 2 or 3 of them then done before I get tired of doing this. <laughs> Cool. You're in the clan now too? Nice. So yeah, when I'm done with this one, I'll try to join in too, Cat. Edward? <laughs> Radical Edward. <laughs> A six foot tall alien zombie, uh, what was it? No, a six foot tall alien, um... I can't remember. But all the different things that they said at Radical Edward was. <laughs> oh, nice. Cool. So far, I've been able to do like 150k, maybe 200k on a lucky time. And that's with both keys. <laughs> cool. So, almost got to halfway. I got a little bit over halfway for those two. That's good. And then, should I do a couple more to get into 20? Yeah, do a couple more. I'll do a couple more. How many do you think it'll take to actually get these two up to level 20? Another six battles, eight battles? Something like that. Understood. I understood what you meant. Well, that would be an interesting st uh, statement, though. I claim busted a whole different animal. You what? <laughs> Thirteen. That's funny. It reminds me of something from Glory Road. There's a really good book, I've never read it. It's called Glory Road. <clears throat> and uh, having a claim busting an animal is kind of a thing that happens there. There are these, uh, 
think it was birds. It was like some kind of like giant bird thing that uh, they were some at some point they came across on one of the planets they were on, and in its gizzard, it uh, would eat the different rocks and stuff in the, on the ground, and it would collect gold nuggets into its gizzard basically. So if you killed the bird and cut open its throat, its gizzard would have gold nu uh, nuggets in it, and they would use it for money. So that's just you know an interesting detail to add into something. <laughs> an interesting way to get gold from looting. Giant chickens with gold in their gizzards. <laughs> Figured a Texas guy might might appreciate that. <laughs> that was a really good book. Strange book. A good book. Good hero story. Definitely sci-fi. Definitely like that's a. Uh, that's like one step up from like Philip K. Dick kind of sci-fi, just barely below uh, Star Trek, you know what I mean? Really fantastical, almost real, not quite real, strange stuff in it, but good, really good. Oh, 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 oh good, another one of those guys, cool. Up to 14 now. Oh, the, uh, how much battle? I, I'm already done with the other one. I'm just trying to make it up to 20 with these guys. I don't have to do it right now. I can go join the clan right away. I can do that. That's true. Because I, I can always come back and finish these. I'm all out of uh, auto battles right now. I might have some in my storage. Maybe. We'll see. But I was just trying to get close to uh, level 20 with these guys. So I can do one more roll for the next 15, or the next three. Because I think I have three or four level... Yeah, three rank level, or uh, gray level three rank ones, so they're the easy ones. You know what I'm trying to think. These guys, then the next level up after this, level three rank and level uh, 30 uh, EXP. That's what I was trying to say. So fully leveled up and the right rank. Almost. But level 15 is a good place to stop, so I can go find this clan. Oh, but wait, if I'm in a clan right now and I quit, will it give me like a timeout to join a new clan? Oh, wait, come here, cat. You gotta move, kitten. Come here. Come here, cat. She's sitting right in front of the TV and right in front of the spot where I need to click on. So unfortunately, you just get to come say hi to the camera for a bit and you gotta go. Sorry about that, kitten. <laughs> Meow. Meow. <laughs> hey, now I can actually see what I'm clicking on over here. Clan. Uh, members. Cool, yep, I got one thing there. 10,000 silver, not bad. And clan quest. I was going to do this one. Upgrade three epic champions to rank five, because I think I'm almost close enough. I got at least two I can do, I think, right now, but oh well. First, let's see. Uh, do I have to quit this clan, leave clan? Yes. Oh. Yes, okay. I just don't want there to be a timer on it. And search for, what was it, XCSC? Right? <laughs> Among Us. <-us. laughs> Great clan name, dude. Great. <laughs> cool. That's hilarious. So you're Edward? And of course, you're Cat. <laughs> we see, can I actually see what kind of. Oh, I can see some of the stuff you got on. Wow, 5560 for one of the goes? Jeez. 360s and a 55. Yeah, you've been playing for a while, dude. <laughs> I've seen this guy a couple times in the arena. Is there like, um, can you actually level one of those guys up that high or is that like a special character you have to get separate? Let's see, I think the clan quest. Well, I could do that one. Five with accuracy substats in the forge. Probably can do that. Five uncommon champions to rank three. I'm about to do that. Oh no, those are common. No, not uncommon. Okay. 
two items from the bazaar. The bazaar is different from the market, right? And 500 spiderlings. Ooh, that one's easy. 90 bells for them. Uh, so yeah, most of this stuff was locked before, so it's nice. I can actually do some of these. Or I guess they've already completed by the other people in the, in the uh, clan. Cool. So whatever you guys do, I'll, I'll pick one of those afterwards and start trying to do that too. <laughs> Which one do you think I should go for? Which one do you think I should try to do? I might be able to do these. Let's see, how many artifacts can I craft in the forge right now? 13 of them? But it's random what a substat they have, right? So might not necessarily get the thing I'm looking for. Yeah, 10 of 40. I don't know, what would you think? Oh, I was asking about Pono. He's going to take out the dog. I'll be back. <clears throat> and I'm going to keep grinding. Grab some more loots. Let's see. Can you do anything with these? Oh, I get more of them. 350. And then you start getting other stuff. Okay. That's what all that's for. Can I upgrade anybody's rank? No. Anybody's close to being leveled up, I can just feed them with stuff. Yeah, like these guys. So I'll do Preacher. A couple of these. 16, yeah. Upgrade that. And then take the... what was the other one? The other one that's partially there it is. Fifteen. You can do these two two. Bring three. Just a little bit more, but it's just that much quicker. And then yeah, I got this one, I got that one level three, that level three. Getting closer, getting closer. <laughs> Cause then I'll be able to use these two leveled up threes. And these unleveled up twos to upgrade those and I'll have more of them. More of them. This is all just to level these guys up to the higher level. I'm trying to do probably this guy first. And then maybe one of these. Maybe her. Him first, then her. <laughs> Meow, you hear the cats coming? Yeah. Meow. Meow. Are you mad because I made you get off the table? <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough of this. Back to grinding. Because I. Oh, actually, I could. I didn't have enough room now. I could open a couple more shards, right? A couple more. Why not? Just see what comes out of them. More grays. We like grays. Meh. I really want to be seeing green ones, obviously, because that means it's just that much more, you know, rare stuff I don't have to get for later, or maybe can level up with either of things. But I like all being gray, too, because it just means more grist for the mill. Ooh, never seen that guy before. A mystic hand. Weird paint job. Is it like... Is it bone, or is it like a long... It's a worm, isn't it? It's like he has a worm wrapped all the way around him. A bone worm. <laughs> Weird. What does he do? Tainted blade. <laughs> come on up here, cat. Come here. Pull on me sideways and just come here. Come here. Come here. Let's make this easy for her. Just put her up on the back of the chair there. There you go, cat. Alright, so we got Tainted Blade. We got Turn the Tide. We got Soul Link, that's kind of cool. Mmm. Equalizes the HP levels of all allies. So that means if you got one Super Master guy that's holding everything up, be able to do like continue or not continuous healing, but basically, well, probably a third healing on just about everybody. Hmm, that's pretty cool. 
And he's got an Aurora skill. I like this guy. Cool. You want to get a couple gems over here? Nice. Still building on up. <laughs> Anything else I need to do before I get back into battling? No. Now she's up here. Meow. So let's see. I need more EXP bottles and I need to ascend some people, so I should jump actually into this real quick. And that's with this one for right now. Let's go to the dungeons and do oh, so these two are closed, but good, this one's open. Do some of these. Start right at the, right at the bottom, do the same thing. Um, let's put these two guys in there, start leveling up some more. Some best, the best thing I could do is keep going with the lowest twos. So let's get those gray twos. Where are they? These two. Bink, bink. And throw in on one as well. Dink. Let's go. Oh, do I have to? Yeah, it's fine. Just let it go. I should be able to kill this, right? I'm not, I'm not misjudging my power here uh, significantly. <laughs> Could be. I think they'll be able to make it through this though, just fine. Oh, cat, you're vanishing into the shadows. You have a good day, cat. Sorry, I missed that part of it. I saw the other part. I saw the meow and the meow and have a meow day and the cat vanishing into shadows. I didn't see the part where you said you were going to go into play Mecarina. So maybe I'll catch up with you in Mecarina soon. Uh, and, um,. If not, then we'll, I'll definitely do some more clan stuff with you here, if ever I see you again here. Sorry I missed you. I'm, I'm really bad with my timing. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, it's not that... You're very skilled as well. I'm not trying to put you down. You're very skilled with that thing and doing it on the mobile and stuff. But I can tell both by playing... I've been playing the mobile game for a long time. Like I played it on mobile for a long time and then playing on PC for a long time, I can tell the difference when I'm playing against somebody that can't move their character as fast as I can because they're on mobile. Even if you're on a big tablet and you're using those big things on the side like that, it's, it's when I'm getting close to you, like with the, um, either with the slingshot or with the, uh, the lancer, I can literally just go in circles around you because the, 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 the GUI or the UI on the mobile thing can't turn you that fast. So uh, that's, I, I, whoa, I can literally kill things that are, you know, 10 levels above me with the Lancer and with the Slingshot just by circling around and around and around them, so it wouldn't be fun. <laughs> I don't like losing, and uh, I wouldn't want to, you know, fight against you and uh, do something that would make me lose, so we could have an interesting competition, like I said, but as far as just like a straight-up battle with the same uh, even things and everything like that, I'll have, I'll have an advantage that you don't have, and it's not fair. I don't want to do that. No roar skill. Continue. It's po it's entirely possible with your amount of skill that you'd be able to kill me anyway, even though I have the dis even though I have the advantage. But having it there and being able to just literally completely dodge your uh, your ability to turn, it's um you know it, it wouldn't be fun for you if I could if I did you know. But I'd love to play with you. I'd love to have some more challenges, do some more 2v2s, some 5v5s, or even one-on-ones, like I said, if we do some interesting stuff. Do like an interesting challenge, like maybe um, we only use uh, one Lancer each and like have like um, maybe the RPG. Like, like you have a left arm RPG, I have a right arm RPG, so that way we have to do it crosswise. <laughs> that would be funny. Like there's no way we could dodge from each other's attacks. We'd be forced to come out and to be able to, in the open to be able to see each other. So it'd be only for motion. It'd be just a, it'd be just a, like a jumping battle. You'd have to be able to maneuver around the person the best to be able to get the uh, the damage from that way. <laughs> that might be fun, because I, I, I would be just as good at that as you would, and it would be it would be a you know be a fun thing to watch. It'd be like a it'd be like a mini Rocket League. <laughs> For now, 
my biggest goal here was just to level up enough of these two and three star gray ones so that I can level up my one or two five star ones so that I can finally two star all the campaign challenges and get that one purple shard. That was my goal for the day. That's what I wanted to do. Just level up enough people, get enough ascension things going on, and also put some stuff together for uh, for this special summon, whatever this is. Oh, no, don't exit the game. For this special summon here. This guy. I've got most of the stuff for this one. I've just got to get this one and that one. And I'll be able to level these guys up. Like this one I've got leveled up all the way. This one I, I've got ascended all the way, but not leveled up. This one I've got leveled and ascended almost all the way. So like most of these characters, I've almost got ready to go. So I'm almost up to where I can start, you know, actually making this happen. So that's something else I'm kind of working on too. But not doing that right now. What I'm just trying to do is make more of these gray ones right here. Pink. More of these guys. Just the regular gray, 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 or not that one. Gray three, gray three, gray three. So I can use these to upgrade the other threes and the other fours together. Because I need a lot of them. And then I can do like what Pono was saying. And, uh, oh, check the clan boss. Okay. Then I can do what Pono was saying and actually, um, go to my characters and unup them enough. I mean, I've only done two of them so far, basically. I just upgraded some of their weapons. Didn't even uh, do the ones I wanted to do. Like, this guy I didn't finish with. This guy's got well, this guy's got some on it. This one, no, see, nothing upgraded yet. So I still gotta finish up with all this stuff. And that's just waiting while it goes ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka-tink, ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka-tink, ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka 10,000 times. So, at the moment, I'm gonna let that just sit for a second while I finish up this and look at the clan boss. Where is the clan boss? Oh no, that's in here. Do do do, clan boss. Nice. I thought you said, so would we just start from here and then, uh, how does this actually work? Like, so you beat the first one and then it goes to the next one and you beat the next one and it keeps on going like that? Click on easy for which part? Oh, there you go. I see. So that's you. You already did that much uh, damage to it. I gotcha. And so each time we battle it, it just adds up more and more damage to it as it goes down. Or should we start doing, uh, should I try to do the normal one? Or should I go to hard? <laughs> For an easy one, 152k. Yeah, look at that. Jeez, look at these guys. But dang, but dang, but dang, but dang, but dang. <laughs> That's a lot, dude. So okay, you can only do the one which you can do, which is easy. I took it out for you so you get double checked now. Okay, so that means I still would want to attack on this one as well, not do the normal one. And farm up Skinner for Magic Keep? Okay. Okay, so that you need to make a specific character just for that, uh, uh, for, the, for that particular level. I got you. I can do that. Ah, gotcha. Okay. So I gotta use the Skinner particularly for that. Okay. Cool. Okay, so then... Just go into this one and see how much see how much how much damage I can do with these guys. What would you suggest? Doing uh, the attack bonus for the first, the defense bonus for the first, or the health bonus for the first? For the uh, particularly for the clan battle, I mean. Let's see. Did this thing work? That's not too bad. Oh, am I looking at the wrong thing? Oh, so that one's in all battles. That one's in all battles. This was just in faction. Oh, whoops. Sorry. So which one would you do then? Uh, health or defense? Or health or attack, I should say. Oops. 
Get back here, Rousey. So ally HP or ally attack? What would you think? Remember, let's try both. I got two keys, right? Let's see what this one does. <laughs> and I know it's not technically uh, correct as well. Ooh, we got the uh, second set of arms as well. Because, um... Okay, we should be using all direct attackers or, or all, um, like, single hit attackers, not ones that have, like, AoE effect because he doesn't get any debuffs or anything like that. So I'm not sure. I'm probably doing all this wrong, too. Poisons, okay. No, I don't think I do. I have just the uh, the cultist guy, I think. The one with like the, the two hook things and like all the, the, the self-scarring. He does a poison thing. I do have him, but not very high yet. Ooh, and you can double chest out of it that way. See, I don't even know you can get those kind of things. There's so much loot I'm probably missing. <laughs> Can you come back yet? She's just having an antsy day. Aren't you, darling? <laughs> this is the, the second of the two cats. I, have, I had a stray cat adopt me, and uh, she turned out to be pregnant. So now I've got two kittens. <laughs> well, I say kittens, but they're juveniles now. Aren't you? So 260k dealt. Nice. So should I just keep going with that? Replay the same key? Let it do it again? Or I think I should do something different? Oh, okay, because you beat him already, anybody else that goes and fights against him, you get two chests from it. I didn't know that. I see. So how much did I do? 260k that time? Let's see how much I do this time. I think I switched around for that one. See if it survives any longer. Okay. Yeah, I, that's what I've been thinking about too. The War Maiden was so much more useful in the beginning of the game, but I stopped using her just because I didn't level her up again. So I should actually do make War Maiden to a four star first, you think? Actually make that my first thing to try to concentrate to. I think I've only got her three star right now. Oh, am I thinking more priest? You might be right. Look a look right now. You might be exactly right. Ah, okay, so it's war priest is the one that I was using before. Oh, okay. Poison. <laughs> More poison for you. <laughs> and I have some I have some poison equipment too on these guys, but uh not a not an actual poison champion. Thank you anyway. Ouch. Hey, that's just really cool. I'm sorry, that's maybe the lullaby. That's a really good job. Look at the glowing things on the hands, the lightning that comes out of it and everything. It's a good job. I like the whole like the zipped up stomach too. It doesn't look like he's gonna eat you, it looks like he's trying to hold himself in. Almost like face crab style, but not not quite, or head crab style, you know. Jeez. I let it do that time. What, 224 that time. So I did 260 the first time and then 224 that time. 
So definitely having the attack out first, because the, the the extra little bit of health, I guess, wasn't enough to keep him alive longer. Okay. That's the, stuff, that's the kind of stuff I like to do. I just like to experiment with things. So 152k versus 26k. Yeah, wow. <laughs> 38.15 million <laughs> damage. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> And said two hours left in this one. Nice, nice. So, does Cat actually have to battle in the same battle for him to get any rewards for it? Probably, huh? He has to actually register some points on the team. Let's see. Is there a way I can actually look at your, your members? Can I look at your whole team at any, at any way? No, I guess not. Roles. I just wanted to see what other kind of cool stuff you had. Okay. You play every day? I'll probably catch you again then. I mean, I'm not, I don't play necessarily this game every day. Sometimes I do. But I've been switching back and forth, doing some different episodes of different stuff. So I hope to catch you again, Pono. I mean, I will definitely look for you. Oh, and uh, click on which little box. I probably am long away from it. Battle, uh, arena. No, not arena. Uh, clan boss. This one, the little box? Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Gotcha. So each time you do it, you get a little bit higher, uh, which we call it, level of thing. Ah. Now I understand. Thank you for telling me that. It took me a second to go back and read it. Okay, cool. Beautiful. All right, so what do you think of this stuff I have available? You kind of like you said the uh, the self heal and the destruction for her, but this is wrong for him, and probably wrong for him too, and this one, <laughs> and this one. Ah, oh, this is the one that had the poison on it. Nice. This guy with the stalwarts, re hit with that one, icy guy. Yeah, and then I kind of stop after that, I think, yeah. There she is, so War Priest, not War Maiden, gotcha. So where do I get the War Maiden from? Where, where, where am I going to grind for that? So you like the lifesteal gear on the heart, huh? Okay. Put that on her instead. And then maybe put the destruction on him. We switch those around, basically. Put the uh, the destroy health on that guy, and put the other ones on on her. Oops, my heat just came out. Hold on a second. Right back. Give me two seconds. Sorry about the quick delay there. I'm back. Two, 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 where? Okay. She's in the dead land. You're right, exactly. She's just in the other room. She's actually being a little calmer today. She was, you know, that's her now. I can hear her. She was freaking out yesterday. It's just because she's a little claustrophobic. She was so used to being a stray cat outside and living here with me in this tiny apartment with now two more cats, because she had uh, kittens, 
It's just a little bit too much for her tiny brain. She can't take it. She's like, I need air, I need space, I need to run and th jump on things. But she can't, because you're old. <laughs> She's actually turning gray now. And I can't have you have any more kittens, I'm sorry. And I can't get you spayed right now, because I already did your son. And so, no more money to get you spayed till later. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> oh, she's in the dead land. Right. <laughs> I, 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 you know, don't mind my, you know, completely, uh, you know, uh, backwards thinking and, you know, confused uh, thoughts and stuff. I, I know what I'm talking about. So, battle. Dead land. Campaign. Karak. Duran Forest. Felwyn's Gate. Thistle. Lelmar. Dead land. There we go. So... Spirit Walker. She's cool. I like the little scarring thing they did on her. It's actually a real thing that people do. It's like a, it's a, rit a ritualistic thing. It's something to do with like a certain types of skin types. The War Maiden. There she is. Cool. Do I have any of her? I might. She's a blue one. No, oh, probably not yet. I think I ground a couple of her. Maybe one of him. But I didn't get her yet. Yeah. So that's gonna be the Deadlands. Cool, so I can do some grinding here, huh? Scarification, yeah. It's um yeah, certain skin types they, they have a like a, a heavier scar reaction, so they actually do it decoratively. It's like a a tattoo without ink. Meow. What? Good details. Um, yeah, you guys are 36 here. I'm not really concerned about what this is getting. Should I just go for the uh, the top one or go for the second one to actually get more EXP out of it? I'm not sure, because it would take longer to do this one as well, just to finish the boss battle. So I'll probably just do a multi-battle or just do a continuous over and over battle on this one to level some guys up until I grind one of her out. Something like that. Okay, do stage three. Good, 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 good. And then... Oh, your dog started sprouting gray whiskers on his chin? <laughs> How old is he now? How old is the little fella? Meow. Meow. Yeah. Okay, so just the one guy, or maybe even just like that, probably. But just do her because she's stronger with the double things, right? He's only three years old. Okay, that's not, that's not uh, too old to start getting gray. He's a black dog, so I guess any any color change in the hair would be immediately obvious. <laughs> Bink, bink, you two, and one low one. This guy. Start. Let's see if she can power through these guys. Yeah, she probably should. Twenty-one in dog years. That's true. And there are people out there that start getting gray at twenty-one for sure. A kid that was actually starting to get gray hair in high school. His name was Sebastian. He was a um, not an exchange student, but he wasn't. You know, he was here for like some kind of school thing. Like he was, uh, he didn't like do an in-school exchange student thing. Like our high school didn't do that. But he was here in the country on some kind of schooling thing, and I can't remember where it was. He had a really weird ass tag. It was it was Sebastian. Where was he from? I can't remember. It was somewhere some middle European country. I can't remember the name of it. And uh, it's um anyway, he had the uh, the same thing. He had the uh, 
the, like I said, the, the gray hair really, really early. Yeah, probably. I don't know, I got pretty good luck with the other one. The um, It only took me, I think, four or five of the green ones to finally get one or two of the blues. So I'm guessing I'm going to get it in eight battles. That's, a, that's an optimistic guess. I think in eight battles I'll get at least one of the blue ones. Let's see if it's the right blue one. Because I haven't done this one in a while too. And there are like invisible caps and like uh, soft uh, limiters and stuff like that in this game. I can feel it. There's things that were like, if you do the same action so many times, it'll give you a better percentage rate on that same action for the next time. And if you switch back and forth between two different things, like you know the quests where you have to get a certain a, like a item of EXP from a certain place, and if you go and try to grind that place for, tw for 20 different things, you'll get maybe one. But if you go grind that one once, go do the arena, go back to that one again, go to the arena, and go back to that one again, you'll get the EXP thing every single time. It'll be the first thing you pick up every single time. So I know that there are definitely some soft limiters, some other cap things, and some ways that, um, that they're trying to make it so that you can't grind out certain items more quickly than others. So, that's at least, that's what I've seen. <clears throat> oh, I, I keep doing the next one instead of redoing that one. Oh well, I'll go back and do it again. Meow. See, she hears me talking. She thinks, "Oh, it must be time for me to talk too." Sorry, you can't. You can't go whine your boyfriend out there. There's two stray cats, which are the two fathers of the two kittens that I have. One is a long-haired kind of brindle mix stray cat, and he's he's a big shaggy fluff ball, kind of like the mom and the and the daughter. But the other one, he's a stark white. I mean, he's she's black, and all the other kittens are black too. But he is like bright white. I mean, he's like a, like no other color, like like he's like albino white basically. And uh, I only see him once in a while. And he's the father of the male because uh, he he's had the same short short hair and the really really long legs, which uh is which is what he looks like. It's really funny. The sister and the brother look like two completely spe different species of cat, basically. Go back to number three, do it again. We're up to 17 on these two, that's not too bad. And I can keep going a little higher and a little higher too, just get some extra EXP. Yes, it's um, the mom has kind of greenish yellow eyes and both the, the the daughter and the mom have similar colored eyes but the the son's eyes are definitely different color i would say it's like i don't know it's more green or yes less yellow one or the other but the tint is is definitely different but it's funny that the the hair color would stay true you know what i mean that the 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 hair patterning and the hair length would come from the father, but the hair color would come from the mother. That's, that's just interesting. So replay that one. And I'm sorry, kid. If you're just going to be sitting in the middle of the room whining at nothing, I have to put you back in the other room. Yes, you. I'm sorry. Come on. Come say hi one last time to the camera. Come here. Come here. Come here. Here she is. Mama cat getting gray. She wants to go outside and have some fun, but she's too old. <laughs> because there's no window out to the front in that room. There's a window out there, so she can still go to the window. Nice, I got a green one. So that was what, in, in uh, three levels? So, okay, doing good so far. I got one green one, that was only after a couple battles. So I'm thinking, yeah, I think by the, the eighth or tenth battle, I might get a blue one. Well, it might not be the right one, though. Okay. The shield guard, that's that guy. Okay, good, good. Oh, right, the albino, no, no, no. I think he actually isn't albino. Yeah, I think that he is actually just a white cat, because, um, although I said before that he was like stark, stark white, but I'm thinking about it too, he actually has, he is white, 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 
but on the front of his like his front haunches, I guess, or like what would that be? It is like the shoulder braids, the shoulder braids on, on the front of his, you know, when he stands forward, like right here, he's got some kind of like a little bit of striping. And then the uh, the son also had striping on his front paws, but on his rear paws, he had the same thing, kind of like a just a slight vague creation of the color on the on his uh, back legs. So that's what also made me pretty sure that he was the father of that one. But no, I don't think he's albino. I think he's just a white cat. But he could be. But I don't think he has red eyes. Can they have yellow eyes if they're albino? I thought they were always red if they're albino. Meow. Yeah, it would, it would be seeing, right, the blood vessels behind it, right. So no yellow? Okay. It would have to be just red then. So he's probably not an albino then. Actually, should I do some of the twos? Should I do another two? No, because I need some of the twos. I need this one and this one to be unleveled up to be able to do these two. So I do need to do another one. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and then switch out the life steal because I still got like half a million in silver so switch out the life steal and the, and the destroy from the lizard man to her okay she does pretty good with just the the constant heal one she definitely stays alive but I can see how having life steal would definitely keep her very alive <laughs> what would you suggest I put on that lizard guy what would be the best uh, like armor combination for him. Because he's a direct attacker for the first, I mean his his main attack is an AoE effect attack, right? So I figured something that would be affecting everybody all at the same time would be a good thing, obviously. Oh, okay. So she can do the, uh, not the regular difficulty one. She can do the brutal campaigns, huh? Okay. More ascension stuff, too. That makes sense. I've only ascended him, I think, once. Those The red ones are harder to get. Am I, am I crazy? But areas that are harder to get the, uh, the bigger red bottles. It seems like I have really bad luck with those. Like, I, I'm actually crafting more red bottles by using the smaller ones than I'm actually finding red bottles. hours here. I might take a break here in about an hour as well, make a snack for myself. Mm. Oh, I see. And so you have the balance of that, that whole paper, rock, the, the rock, paper, scissors thing. Understood. Mm -hmm. 
2020. Cool. Tag team. Drop these two off. Actually, let's go all the way back here. Start back at three again. And do. Oops. Do we got to go? I'll see you later. Thank you for uh, watching everything, and thanks for keeping an eye on that for me to to judge and how that's all still working. Thank you again for your help. You have a good night, bro. Yes, she is very talkative. <laughs> see, I'm glad that somebody else notices that too. I've never had a cat as talkative as the mom. She literally just wants to just sit in the middle of the room and all the time. And like I've had, you know, cats that like they they want to talk to you. Obviously, they try to interact with you and everything, but. She's just non-stop. I've never had a cat like that before. And I think she's a, I think it's because she's a little bit claustrophobic because she used to be a stray and now she's inside locked in with two other cats and me. So she's like, come on, let me go climb a tree somewhere. <laughs> but I can't, but she's usually pretty content. Like now she's, she's in the other room with the other two cats out here. She's got her own space. She's quiet now. She's, she's you know, she's, uh, she's tolerating the, her existence. <laughs> And she's got food and water and a place to look out the window in there too, so she's happy. I give them plenty of attention, lots of loves, and all the good stuff. Oh, and you were saying this guy needs to be leveled up too. Let's, why not? Since I'm still trying to grind out that other guy, let's try to level this one up some more, and this guy too. I knew that guy was going to be cool. <laughs> I didn't think of it as being a ghillie suit, but yeah, I was just thinking of it as just being like a, like a grass leaf cape thing. A cape of many colors. Or is it cloak? The cloak of many colors? I forget. You have to correct me, Ari. Oh. Alright, got another green one. Getting closer. See, so I have three or four more. And I think I'll get a blue one. I miss? This is what Jesus has? Wait, wait. That's not the right one, is it? No, it's a spirit walker. Close. She's dressed similar. And nine. Yeah, that's what I said. What, what did Jesus have? <laughs> you play. I find him doing that more. Like, I'm talking so much about the things that's going on, the things that we're saying, the things in the game, and, and like what I'm trying to think about the next thing to do, and the cats and everything else like that, that sometimes I'll say something, and then I'll look at the response in the chat, and my brain doesn't connect the two things together. Like. What are you talking about? What did you say? <laughs> so, what are you talking about? <laughs> mm, getting closer.
Oh, right. No, no. I was thinking of the, uh, of the book. Isn't that, um, doesn't she, no, maybe it's a Cloak of Shadows. The cloak that she, she, we use him in the, uh, I can't remember anything now. I remember the quote at the beginning. I spent the night with Florian. Florian, the cloak that Florian makes, uh, Kvoth in, uh, in the, in this, the Sacred Wood. It's a cloak of shadow. Okay. I was a cloak of many colors. What's that one from? Is that, there's, I know there's the Technicolor Dream Cloak. I don't know, maybe I'm mixing things up. <laughs> but that's what I was thinking. I was thinking of both. Replay, let's do number four again, and then we'll go on to five. <laughs> single guys anyway, so it's okay if I got more of these than I need. Dolly Parton had a cloak of many colors? Maybe that's what I was thinking of, honestly. Could be. I just saw a thing about her, um, her life. I mean, not like the whole documentary, I was flipping through different things. I saw some stuff about her. She actually had a really, really interesting life. She had like a lot of crazy stuff happen to her. Sixteen, seventeen, one, two, three, up to stage five. Let's replay this one a couple times. See that? We can grab that girl. I mean, past eight now. I think. I think this is, or is it? Maybe this is gonna be the one. Maybe this is the eighth one now. But I was guessing by at least about eight, ten battles, I, I might get another blue one. Maybe not the blue one that I wanted, because I think it's that guy is probably the one I'm gonna get. But one of those two. Ow! And uh, then we'll have the right character. No, not yet. Stage five. Do it one more time. Then we'll go on to six. Ooh, I like the shadow veil thing. You can actually add it to the people too. That's cool. Oh, Susanna, don't you grab me? I'm happy, I think. There we go. Okay, let's go on to the next one. See if we can beat this one still with these guys. Seventeen, seventeen, six, go. By the way, my official disclaimer, do not smoke tobacco, sucks, addictive, smells bad. Six. We're still flying through pretty easily though, so let's do the next one. Oh, that is the last one. All right, I'll go back one. And then I'm gonna go get some more, some more magic juice too. Try one more time to get this girl out of this one, or a couple more times perhaps. We'll see how I feel about it. 
And then we'll go back and try to get some more magic juice so I can upgrade some more people and do some more ascensions too. So many things. Oh. <clears throat> Understood. Thank you for coming to stop by Pona. Sorry if I didn't see you until uh, just now. I was looking away for a while there. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for all the good advice. I'm going to have to go back up in the uh, chat here and, and go back and look at all the things. And I'll look for you in Discord. And I'll catch you again. If you play this game a lot, I'll be playing with you a lot because I'm really liking this game. And I'm going to try to get every champion. That is that is one of my, like, my long-term goals, to have every single champion in the game. Is it actually possible to have 600 slots in your inventory? I hope so. <laughs> Same thing. I appreciate that a lot. You're exactly the kind of person that, I mean, like, I, I'm so glad that I'm finding people like this. Like, I'm actually connecting with people that are cool and chill and like to play the games that I play. So, glad you're here and I'm glad you're enjoying what I do, too. Thank you and have a good night. Hope to see you again. Alright, so I'll leave this one off for a little bit. We'll get some blue juice. After I check the market, see if there's anything interesting here. A ritualist, a sergeant, huh? Hmm. Before you go, should I, should I buy any of these guys? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh yeah, that's true too. I've heard back and forth things about the market. Some people say the market is worthless, some people say the market is OP. So I'm like, I don't know. Sometimes it seems like it's worth it. Armager, that's kind of what I thought. I've been uh, so far pulling the armagers out of there. Cool. Good, good. Thank you again for your help. Ooh, okay. So use the duplication one so if you get a bunch of the other guys in instead of using a book, I gotcha. But I don't think I have any of these guys right now. I think I have a Skinner, maybe. I don't know. I'm not leveling him up, though. I should just use that. Okay. Thank you again for my last question. I appreciate that. Ooh, Guardian Ring. Upgrade, upgrade. I can't wait for these guys to be useful. I just want that to work. I don't know why. I like the idea of having them... The teamed up hellhounds is my my uh, my support guys. <laughs> so I got her and him, but not the other one, huh? Okay. So let's upgrade some champions here. First, we'll upgrade rank. Grab the twenties or no? Do the tens first. I think I might have enough. Let's see. I do. Do her and him, or him and him, I should say. Bing. So now I got her to level three. Same thing again, do this one. And do him and her. Oh, just for the heck of it, I'll do this one and that one. Now I got Sister Militant up to level three. Let's do these two guys, I think. I think. And then, that's all of them, right? All right. So now, I've got, let's see. I got one, two, three, four, five level threes up there. So I need at least three to go to the next level four. So I need to level up one of these girls. Boop, excuse me. To get the next one up. And then if I do one more, this guy here. Then I'll have three twos again, and I'll be able to do the next one as well. And I've even got some of the doubles of these guys that I've been carrying in through, through my other random grindings. Who's this one? The Head Taker. Cool. I didn't see this one before. What does she do? Cool outfit, too. Snaky. I like the purple accents with the green hair. Ooh, she's even got snake eyes. That's cool. You did a lot of work on this game. I like it. I like the different characters. I like different stuff to it. They, there might even be like a blurb about the different characters somewhere. But I don't know where that is. <clears throat> Carve up. And weakling! Exclamation point. <laughs> it's not just carve up or, uh, you know, um, puncture or impale. No, no. She gets... <laughs> wait, wait, where'd she go? Where'd she go? She gets weakling! <laughs> Exclamation point. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> no, that's Astrid. 
Very cool, very cool. Archer. They need armor set up for her too. It almost looks like real clothing. Except for like the shiny part in the center. Ooh, pit spawn. See, that's another one with the, the, the armor grows out of their skin. I like that kind of design. Crazy stuff. Hey, Madness. How you doing? <laughs> you don't have to call me Mr. Razor every time. That's just for my blurb page. <laughs> but nice to see you, Madness. He's checking out some of the different characters I got right now. He's fooling around. I'm in the middle, midst of some grinding. I had some good advice from Pono over here about which characters I should be focusing on so I know who I should be grinding for. So I'm right now, I'm just trying to make some more characters, make some more room for the different ones I'm leveling up. Ooh, and I got a three one right here. I gotta level up two. Good, good. So I gotta level up a couple more people and then level up those people and then I'll be able to give everybody their ascensions and everything else that they need, which is good. Can I ascend any of these guys yet? couple of them I have to level up specifically for this one that I'm trying to build. A couple of them I can, it looks like. This one here. I'm trying to do this fusion one at the bottom for the Broodmaw, this big dude. I'm liking the lizard man. But for that, I need this guy, this girl, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and these two. I haven't found these two yet. But I've got all these, I just gotta level them all up to the place they're supposed to be. Ascend them and level them. Slowly but surely. <laughs> Understood. I, I, uh, I appreciate the professionality. Makes you wanna, you know, button on my shirt. <laughs> Put on a little tie. <laughs> Mr. Random Razor. Nobody's ever called me Mr. at any of my professions. Any of the times I was in charge and everything like that, I never was a Mr. so. It basically was, uh, my nickname is Jimbo. My, my family's always called me Jimbo ever since I was a little kid. My name is James. So the, uh, the difference is, I tell people, either you could, you're, if you're, uh, it's a situational difference, what I was trying to say. If you're handing me a flower, you call me Jimbo. If you're handing me a shovel, you call me James. <laughs> so it just depends on what it is. So now, though, we're onwards to ooh, other stuff to grab. Okay. Ooh, and I could do some more arena stuff. Let's go get the arena done. I'm, I'm, I'm getting some things I gotta pile up here. This one's only got four hours left. So let's go do that. Let's get some arena stuff done. If I can. I'm not sure if my, how, how good my power is with the level I'm at here. Should be able to do a couple of them. Without even thinking about it. I should be able to do this one on auto, not even look. Hopefully. But this guy might get me though. He's got that extra acid thing. Oop, yeah, they didn't take him out. I probably should have done it myself. Oh, no, never mind. Good, they got him. If he'd be able to get his acid hit, I probably wouldn't have survived this. But looks like they got him. Good job, guys. Let's see. Who's next? Who's next? <clears throat> Anybody next? 26, 48, I probably can do this one. Same thing, he gets me quick, so I'll not start on auto. Let's see if I can take him out. Mm, yeah, because then I can do her with that guy afterwards. Hopefully, anyway, because she's going to hit me next, and that might hurt a lot. But hopefully I can stun him with this one. Boom. And he will... Aw, he still got me. No fair. And then she will be able to take him out, and maybe even her too. All right, cool. And then we can do this, weaken, and then you're both dead. Like this. Aw, I thought it was gonna get both. Okay, next, let's see if I can do a little higher. 26, 24. Ooh, I don't like this guy. What's this guy? I've never seen this one before. A torture helm, huh? That does look like a torturous helm. <laughs> what does he do? Ooh, interesting. Killable. Hmm. 
Let's see what happens. Ooh, same thing. I'm gonna try to take him out first. Erg. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt too. Oh, that really hurt. Yeah. Maybe I should try to take him out first. <laughs> But it wouldn't have mattered. I think it was all too fast for me. 24, yeah. 25, ooh, what's this dude? Okay. Whoa. Barangiri? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna fight this thing. <laughs> okay, time to refresh the list, see if we get some low ones. Like the 17, there we go. Probably don't even have to think about that. We have to let it go. Uh, Jane Bow to combine them both. <laughs> you, you'd be surprised how many combination names I've had. I've been, uh, let's see, um, uh, Jame, Jimmy, Jimbo, Jim, Jack, uh, Mac, M, JJ, Ross Baba Zimbabwe and Jimbo. <laughs> everywhere I go, I get a new name. Everywhere I, I, everywhere I go, somebody wants to call me a different name than my actual name. <laughs> it's okay. I'm still me. <laughs> Sorry, that was Ross Baba Jimbabwe. Jimbabwe. Twenty. Ooh, that probably can't beat that one. Twenty-one. I might be able to beat this one. Depends on what this guy is. The God Seeker Aniri. That's kind of cool. Like the angel stuff, or like the wing things on the back. And it's got like the etching writing in it. That's actually really cool. It's stylized like that. So it's not like an armor thing. It's more like it's like a ceremonial thing. What is that? A head? I don't know. Maybe it's her helmet. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's her helmet though. There's a, there's a, it's closed. You can't put your head on it. Whatever. Need shield too. Like the one from Indiana Jones. FD. Okay, onwards. I think I can beat these guys. Oh. Jambo? That's a good one. I'll let him go out of it. Mm hmm. Close, close. Now we got him, I think. Because even if she heals him again, he's gonna be able to take him out with the next one. The big guy at the end here. Yeah, there we go. Good job, guys. Let's see, 20K. Ooh, I've had problems with this guy before. I don't know what this is. That's cool though, the Crimson Slayer. Reminds me of Harlequin. Interesting little front face shield, too. Her eyes are crazy. The darkness is pouring out of them, tainting her skin. <laughs> See if we can do it. Go for it, guys. I have faith in you. <clears throat> yeah, you got it. Ooh, actually, I've been doing this one for a while, grinding up. Just because we've got a, a pretty much at the end of what I can do here, it might be a good thing to do, switch over to cross out. I wanted to take a quick break. Let's see, what is it now? And I'm almost at, yeah, almost two and a half hours. That's actually perfect time, Madness. That's maybe that's what I'll do. I've, uh, 
I got to meet up with some people here and do some uh, some raid stuff with some of my viewers, which is really cool. I'm glad you guys hang out, hung out and stuck around with me. So if you're still hanging around, you should maybe switch over with me now over to Crossout. That's a little bit more intensive PvP action. And that is kind of what I'm feeling like now. I've done enough random grinding. I think I've got all the loot I can get basically at the moment. Oh, there is one thing I wanted to do. I think I've only got four hours left on this particular thing. So I do want to do this. One or two more arena battles, because i got to finish this off. Let's see. A couple more of these. Let's see if there's any more of these I can do easily. I'll just do it quick. 29, 27, 17. No. So I'm going to wave some gems. Refresh it. Ooh, what's this character? I want to fight her, but I want to see what she is. Delena, huh? Or Deliana? One of the two. Looks cool, though. Nice hairdo. But what I'm going to try to do is finish up these real quick. So that way I can grab the other bonus and use some of those and not have wasted the, uh, the thing that I got. So I don't, I don't want to waste the loot, basically. And since it has a timer on it, I have to claim it before I leave. So I gotta do that. But then, I'm gonna switch over to Crossout, and we're gonna get into the same team together. So, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe. I've got one more battle of this to do. Let's see. Yeah, you can do that. Then I'll be able to claim that one, finish off, do this on auto auto run. Yes, must feed myself too. I can make a quick bagel <laughs> in less than 15 minutes. I'm glad you're having fun with the madness. I, I honestly, that game is above and beyond one of my favorite games ever of all time. Nice, next tier. So like, this game is really fun. This game I like, it's really interesting. I'm liking the characters, I like being able to collect the stuff, but as much as I'm enjoying it, I still, it doesn't like, it doesn't go above and beyond other games like this, you know what I mean? It's really interesting, it's really good, and it's gonna hold my attention and my, and my, and I want to complete and see what they've done with it. But it's not like, this just tops the level of everything, but no, but that game, Cross Out, that game tops the level of other things that I've played like that a hundred times over. This is a really fun game, but that is one of my favorites. Oh, gotta go over here first. No, actually I can do it in here, can't I? Haha, good. So just bink, grab that. Battle this one. Get rid of this. Continue, 20, do that one. Do it on auto, go for it. Ooh, a different alligator guy, though. I didn't see that guy. He must be a legendary of that one. Or an epic. He's only at level 30. Cool. Finish this loot grabbing. 24, 32, 25, 34. Whoa, 50. Jeez. So 24. Try that one. Might be able to make it through. This this combination worries me, but they took him out good. Nice. Yeah, we got this one. It always depends, too. If the, this guy's a little bit faster, he can get his, his shot off first, I probably wouldn't have survived. Cool. That one's done. 29, 20, 24, 34. Come on. Two more. There's no way I can do that one. Or maybe I can do this one. Ooh, what's that thing? Whoa, a seeker. It's like a giant werebat. It actually does look kind of like the werebat guy from uh, the original Batman. The actual cartoon. Eat a salad, boy! <laughs> I actually like salads, but I don't think I have enough stuff to make a salad right now, even if I did. Even if I could. Well, that's right. I think I actually did just get some more spinach and stuff. Actually, hmm, maybe I'll do that. Hmm, maybe I will make a salad, boy. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I can't beat any of these guys. Okay, so now... Even though I only have one coin left... Don't care. 
I'm still gonna grab this one. Continue anyway. Fill it up. And then, because that way when I come back, it won't have reset for the next day yet. I'll be able to use those. I'll only have wasted one coin. Big deal. Okay. Mm -hmm. I gotta do the daily quest thing, though, okay. dang. Increase a level at the tavern. If I have somebody near it, perfect. Perfect! And you need what? How many do I have? 94? Perfect. So I gotta open up a couple of these. This is literally the last thing I'm gonna go play cross out. By popping a couple of these open, I grab some random characters. And I'm just going to use this food for EXP. One more, one more. Okay. Something cool? No. Alright. And then, go to the tavern. Grab this guy here at the bottom. This one. And upgrade level with those guys I just grabbed. One, two, three. Is that enough? Oh, it's so close! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, fine. That's up to nine. How many more do I need, do you think? Two more? Three more? Ooh, that guy's cool looking. An icebound prospector. He looks like he's been spending too much time in the cold. Jeez. Another green one. That's okay, I don't, I don't mind her, she's kinda cool. I need to use her, the sniper. That's one of the ones that I, I actually need to use more of, I think. Okay. Now back to the tower one more time, come on. Back down here, number nine. Let's see, is that enough to get him to 10? Oh, it's so close. All right, fine, I'll sacrifice a bigger one. Let's use, who do I know I'm gonna get more of? This girl, there we go. Bingo. Ta -da! And that completes my quest. Claim the experience points, claim the daily thing. All done. Now I don't have to do anything else. Now I don't miss out on that kind of stuff, you know? Because I think I've done that. I've definitely uh, been here more than three days, but I forgot to do that last click. That after I did all the daily quests here, I didn't click on the complete one at the top and collect the last bit of the loot. So that was stupid of me. But anyway, so we're all done for this for right now. I'm going to take a uh, quick, like I said, 15 minute break, make myself a salad, and um, I'll be right back. But we're gonna be going into cross out this time. We can get some, some nice PvP action. It's time to get in there. And uh, I'm, I'll look forward to seeing what you got going as well, because even, like, if, from what I remember, it's been a long time to play the beginning part, but from what I remember, the the, the very beginning uh, missions and stuff are, are easy enough to make it so that you can level up the first items at least somewhat you know what i mean so at least with a, a couple battles and stuff like that you should have some cool stuff for us to play with is what i'm trying to say so hopefully when i get back we'll get in there and get some of that cool stuff and we'll have some fun so i'll see you guys in about 15. see you there <laughs>